Greetings. Hope this video finds you well and prosperous. It's been a while since I was uh, on this thing, man, but I got to test something out. <clears throat> so I want to do with this topic. The biggest mistake that these dating coaches make. Look, don't challenge me on this. The biggest mistake that these life, these life, even the relationship life coaches, uh, pickup artists, all of these, just the biggest mistake that they make. Classify, classifying someone between one and ten with a ten being someone who's visually attractive. Just using one sentence, their eyesight. If you're a fan of the Bible, maybe or maybe not. <laughs> Listen, you don't just judge something by the way it looks. That's a formula for failure right off the bat. So I hear, I listen to these these dating coaches and these relationship coaches talking about someone being a five or two or eight or ten and a ten is this catches your eye Woo! perfect body pretty face handsome face nice physique that's a ten and then you may have a moment to get involved with someone like that and you're like there are two you've already propped up something you know nothing about You've already, you've already put someone on a pedestal that you know nothing about. Strictly by appearance. That's how a lot of people get tricked. Instead of using all of your senses. Along with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So, the biggest mistake, and I still hear them making it. Oh, she's a 10. He's a 10. That's why. That's why guys and girls have to keep going to these people. Because that's not going to fix it. <laughs> right away. When you start with that attraction. Right away when you start with that. With that. That sight of attraction. Right away. It's a lot more to it than that. It's so much more to it than that. You cannot be that shallow. Especially at this point in life. People should not be that shallow. With so much information. And so much access. And people put so much of themselves out here in the public. You can take hold of so, so many aspects of their lives. If you, even if you don't even personally speak to the person. You can gather so much from what they post, what their topics are, what their what ideologies do they believe in and follow, what theories do they share. All of this information that you could be gathering. But the dating coaches, ah, she's a 10. She's out of your league. I'm like, what? And here's another thing. This is another topic, but I'm going to get to it in the next video, maybe. All of these people charging you all for their advice. Charging people for wise words. Monetizing everything. Branding themselves. Selling a package. One after another after another. They're just replicating each other. Selling their brand. Selling their t-shirts. Selling their hats. <laughs> Could you imagine. In the ancient times. In the earlier times of humanity. 
the elders selling their wise words to the youth. Think about it. 